И welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're going to read the challenge for June 4th, 2022. The character of the Watcher and the modifier star draft. Draft the custom starting deck of cards. Order. Whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the merchant. In terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. So I think with draft and hoarder, every card I, I pick, I'll get three copies of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. We're playing in, in first place, 1919. I'm just guessing a lot of collector bonuses, but still, that's very impressive. Like Nikon with 1765, also a really good score. Let's review those scores from yesterday um so yeah sita ended up in uh ninth place with 1264 actually tied with a lot of other people including vorpal so that's impressive and i think flick nickham pointed out that he would have been able to get 1164 but his score didn't get saved cobalt here with 1214 um and then uh i got 11 or no 1064 because i did miss a few bosses here we got george and alex with 1164 yeah a lot of oh right yes it was a student future run that's why a lot of people got the same score where did i land 1064 160 30 yeah that's not that great i didn't didn't do so well and it wasn't able to get the highlander which by the way flick nickham also wasn't able to get the highlander but he had the foresight to switch over to collector bonuses when he realized that there were too many duplicate curses and that's something i didn't do all right, let's move on to today's run. So draft and hoarder terminal. So first of all, I have to keep in mind that every copy I get, I'll draw three. So let me take follow up. That's probably the one that I'll be okay with having three copies of. Protect this pretty good to have three copies of. Let's take empty fist. I would love for an influence, but I would want to get some of those cards upgraded. Maybe wheel kick is better. Let's do that. Crush joints is fine. Earn a piece is fine. Let's go with the crush joints. Talk to the end for sure. Wallop is really good. Um, not a huge fan. I guess I'll, I'll take third eye. I can't do flurry blows. I don't have any way to switch stances yet. Uh, let's take the evaluate. Cutthroat fit is pretty good. Of reality is nice. Um, I could get a collector bonus for empty fist or wallop. Let's go with the wallop. Weave. I feel like I have enough. Let me sort it to Z right away too. I feel like I have enough scry capabilities. Not that many actually. It's just the uh, cutthroat fit and the third eye. But still, I think three copies of weave should be good. Flying sleeves is nice. Uh, yes. Just lucky, yeah, for the, um, for the scrying capabilities. Okay, 45 cards. Yeah, a lot of cards here. A good mix of defense and offense, so I think I just have to get lucky and draw the right thing at the right turn. Alright, two leads on the right only, right? No two lead path on the left. Okay, unfortunately on the right I only get two question mark rooms. On the left I would get, yeah, up to seven question mark rooms, but yeah, fine, let's maximize elites. I do think I have a chance of perfecting, so I'll get 25 points for each perfected elite anyway. Let's kill this guy with wheel kick, and then I'll just do the just luckies. Oh, oh, silly, I should have played the Wii first. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, if I do third eye... Actually, yeah, okay. I thought I would have been able to kill, but I should have done Miracle and um, the Wallop. That would have killed too. Okay. Prey, cut through Fate Flying Sleeves. Let's get the Collector Bonus for Prey. Okay, Cultist. Let's do Weave, cut through Fate, and Weave again. Cut through Fate again. Okay, one more Weave follow-up. And then, uh, I guess, uh, that was silly. I should have done Crush Joints at the beginning. Anyway, I can kill here. Another Flying Sleeves, Empty Body, Bowling Bash. Let's go for the Collector Bonus on the Flying Sleeves. And uh, sure, let's buy all the potions here. Okay. And then Acid Slime and Spike Slime. Uh, let's do Carve Reality Smite. And then, uh, you know what? There's no reason to take damage, so let's fully defend here. Who's my final boss, by the way? Guardian. Okay, so I do want to make sure I have some good defensive cards. Okay, crush joints, cut through fate, uh, get rid of the weave so I can get it back and kill with it. <laughs> Got a power potion, which might be better than the cultist potion, sure. And then battle him is good. Did I already have a collector bonus for wallop? I did. Okay, so I don't need another set. Um, between these two, let's go with the battle him. Would give me something useful to upgrade. Okay, let's start with cut through fate, get rid of the weave. Okay, I could fully defend with the Protect, but I don't think I need it. I can just do Third Eye. Also get me another Weave back, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so seven incoming here. I can't... Here, let's... I think I should... Oh, I'm going to try to kill with the um, with just my attacks, although I am weakened, which makes it a little harder. Nine, and then Empty Fist is enough to kill. Good. Got a skill potion, which I don't think I'll take. Sash whip, prostrate, pressure points. All of them are fine in a hoarder run. Let's go with the sash whip, though. Okay. All right. Um, do I want to upgrade? Actually, I think it's not a bad idea to upgrade one of the battle hymns. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I want to upgrade all of them. I think I'll make my opening hand too too poorly, uh, too poor. Let's just have one. Uh, here I can just do wallop, uh, battle him, wallop, and let's do the carve reality just so I have the smite on hand. Hmm. All right, another ten. Talk to the end is great. Cut through fate. Get rid of both of these. And uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, the smite should allow me to kill next turn, right? All right, fasting, consecrate, crusher, and so let's hit the consecrate. I also have to figure out a way to enter wrath because I don't have any wrath creation or entering wrath cards. Let's upgrade the talk to the hand. I think those are going to be very important, especially against the guardian. Wing boots. You may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to three times. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick with this path, but on act two and three, well, probably one. Well, I usually do one jump on act two and two jumps on act three. Let's see if that'll be still the best thing to do there. Consecrate, cut through fate, get rid of the weave and the flying sleeves. Let's see if I can maybe get back to another weave. That would be awesome. Uh, no. All right, fine. Mm. Not the best opener. I might have considered throwing the fear potion in retrospect. Okay, so talk to the hand is actually pretty good. Mm. Let's see. So I can do talk to the hand. Protect would be enough, right? Let's do protect and then I'll just wait for next turn. Okay. Hmm. 16. Um, so this would be 1836. Uh, I think I should have enough, right? Yeah, 36. And then I can uh, kill with this guy. All right. All right. Didn't have to use a potion. We got bronze scale. So I just come with three thorns and three copies of blasphemy. It is tempting. Well, mostly it's tempting because I, I should definitely not go for popper. I should try to go for collective bonuses. But no, let's go with the crescendo. I, the problem is blasphemy is going to be difficult to use. Because, uh, well, especially if they're not upgraded. Um, so instead, I think what I'll do is, this guy has 21, right? 14 plus 5 is not enough. Um, actually, no, what I th what I can do is I can do crescendo, talk to the uh, talk to the hand you, okay? And follow up, and then talk to the hand you, all right? And then I should be able to kill with the smite next turn, Okay. Alright, got an attack potion I don't think I'll need. Yeah, let's get a collector bonus for protect, and that should also help against the boss fight. Alright, sentries. I do start with a wallop, which is useful. Uh, let's do wallop, then cut through fate. Alright, let's grab the consecrate, and I wonder if I should spend the energy to play a battle him. Let's do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here... Consecrate and wheel kick will kill the backliner, but then I won't be able to fully defend. Um, actually, I can kill this guy with a smite and then play the protect. I have to if I want to be fully defended. Come. Okay. Huh. And then here, if I do crescendo, I think I should be able to kill, right? Yeah, I think it's worth the risk. Uh, let's do brush joints, follow up, and then smite, and then next smite will kill next turn, right? Or a flying sleeve says too. Okay. Got a Mori and you get the next curse you obtain. Um, no, no, I want to go for the curse modifier, so let's skip that relic. I also don't think I need a strength potion. Fear no evil is fine, but let's go with the sense of time. Okay. All right, acid slime. Let's do cut through fate. Actually, I wouldn't mind playing a talk to the hand. All right, so he'll split 32. Uh, let's do talk to the end. Weave cut through fate one. Get rid of both. Yeah, if I get all my weaves played early. That would be a huge help against... Uh, here, let's actually do a smite as well. Uh, that would be a huge help to get the combo modifier, because that way I can play a lot of cards. But let's do cut through fate here. Get rid of both of these. Actually, I should have probably entered wrath. Uh, you know what? Let's do it now. And then I'll do smite weave. Okay. I'll be weakened next turn. Well, I was weakened this turn too. Okay. All right, Bowling Bash, follow-up, Sanctity. Did I have enough follow-ups? Uh, no. Yeah, let's grab a Collector Bonus for that. I might have considered Sanctity, actually, just to have a defensive card. All right, Wallop kills you. Just lucky. Follow-up is fine next turn. Let's do Empty Fist. And you know what? Let, let do, let's do Battle him as well. I'm not taking any damage here and might as well have some good attack cards on hand. All right, so Smite kills the strongest one, then follow-up, and then Wallop. Oh, I didn't realize that wasn't enough to kill this guy. All right, well, this was, this is enough. Got a f another fear potion, which I don't need. Uh, consecrate, meditate, nirvana. I, as much as I would like a collector bonus on consecrate, let's take the meditate. 
Very solid card. All right, I should continue to upgrade. It's so hard to determine what to upgrade in such a large deck, but let's continue to update the talk to the ends. Hmm? All right, now I just have to draw one early on. All right, let's do battle him, flying sleeves, follow up. And uh, I guess I can do another flying sleeves. Come. Okay. All right, 32. I do need to deal 16 damage. Uh, let's do consecrate cut through fate. Okay, it's good to have the protect on hand. And then let me do... I have to do crush joints and let's meditate uh, something like wallop. Okay. All right, nine incoming. Uh, let's do wallop first. All right. Uh, follow up will deal too much damage. I, I do want to hang on to the smite. I have 11 right now, so let's just not do anything. Oh, I forgot I'm not... I can't draw enough cards this way, right? All right. Well, I have to do protect. Can I do the talk to the hand? If I do talk to the end, I'll drop down to 14. And then just lucky brings me up to 16, right? So I think this should work. So I have 14 right now, and this brings me up to 16, which is exactly enough, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so here, let's see. I need to deal 40 damage, basically. Let's do Cut Through Fate first. Get rid of both of these. All right, unfortunately, I can't... Wait, hang on. I have 8, 15. No, I can't defend fully, so I have to do these smites. Luckily, that is... Wait. Yeah, no, there's no way around it, right? I guess I could do a Cut Through Fate if I want to wait. I wouldn't mind getting another talk to the end plate. Yeah, let's do, let's do Miracle uh, Third Eye here. Uh, get rid of the weave, and um, I don't think I need any of the others. Okay. I will play a weave, though. All right. Oh, he'll transform my thorns. I forgot about that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, luckily I did draw another protect, which is good. Let's do follow up one and follow up two. Might as well do sash whip. Doesn't hurt. I could do empty fist. Let's also do sense of time. And then a smite to free up my hand. Also, it's coincidentally, deal a lot of damage. Okay, so luckily now I have two protects, which is good. Uh, let's do... It doesn't really matter what I do. Let's do protect here. And uh, well, since I did play the protect, I can do consecrate, sash whip. Come. Mm -hmm. And then here I have to do protect. Let me do third eye first. Get rid of the weave. Come. Uh, play the Wii for free. So right now I have 12, so I do have to play the Protect, right? Yeah, there's no way around it. All right, let's do Protect. Okay. Maybe I should just do uh, Crescendo next turn, right? That should be enough. Uh, I almost miscalculated, but no, we're good. Okay, perfected this one. Blasphemy. Yeah, I could have gotten a Collective Bonus. Let me take it now. Yeah, better late than never. And then, yeah, that's the first set of Curses. Calling Bell, I'm pick up a unique Curse and three Relics. Three Relics are great. We've got Curse of the Bell as well as Anchor. Surge come with 10 block. Molten Egg, whenever you add an attack into deck, upgrade it. And Ginger, you can no longer become weakened. Just realized I only got two Relics on Act 1. Yeah, that's because I barely... Well, I fought two Elites, but didn't have any question mark rooms. All right, there's a three Elite path. I could jump once to get a fourth Elite, and I think I will do that. So, yeah, let's get started. Just because it's very difficult usually to get two, three jumps on Act 3, although, of course, if that is possible, I'll be missing out, but I think it's worth worth the risk. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do Battle Him and Crush Joints here. Okay. I don't have any good, um, good multi-hit attacks, but I do have the Thorns, so hopefully those should help. Okay, well, great. Everybody's attacking me for quite some, uh, quite a bit. Um, can't get really anybody to the ground. Uh, let's do Cut Through Fate. Okay, I could do follow-up. And then I could get this guy to the ground. And then I can do Miracle and Protect. Okay, still take some damage, but at least it's more manageable that way. Okay. All right, 20 incoming. Uh, I don't think I can kill with the uh, Blasphemy, so let's not do that. Let's instead do Cut Through Fate. Uh, Sash Whip is pretty good. All right, so I'll do Sash Whip. Then uh, Just Lucky. Okay, follow up is fine next turn. And then let's do evaluate, and that's it. So this guy will die on my thorns. And then I'll take one damage. All right? And then here I should be able to kill. Good. Okay, another attack push. I don't think I'll take. Wallop I have enough of already, right? Between Sash Whip and Third Eye, I think I have one of each, right? Uh, yeah, let's take the Sash Whip. It's pre-upgraded. Okay. All right, Sphere Guardian. 
Ooh, if I do Blasphemy, so I'll be able to play 30... Wait, uh, it's 25, so 50. It really depends on what I draw, but let's risk it. Let's do Blasphemy, Wheel Kick. Yeah, I just needed any decent attack card. Okay. All right, Pressure Points, hold or Empty Body. Let me take the Empty Body here to have some defensive capabilities. Mix it up with all my offensive cards. 20 incoming. Let's do Cut Through Fate. Uh, follow Up is fine. Mm -hmm. Car Reality, Empty Body. All right. And then here, let's, uh, let me do Just Lucky first, get rid of this, and then cut through fate. I should have considered entering, entering Wrath, actually. Yeah, let me do Talk to the End, follow up, and then I'll do a Smite, and then let's, let me try to enter Wrath next turn. Okay. Yeah, I think I should be fine here. Let's do Crescendo. Uh, I never played the Battle him. Okay, all right, interesting. Our Reality, follow up. Mm-hmm. Then Sash Whip, and uh, I guess I'll wait. 16 incoming here. I do want to try to kill them. So let's do Smite, follow up, and then kill with the Carviality. Okay. All right, follow up again, study your sanctity. I feel like I had enough follow up, right? I might have to. Yeah, I feel like I already checked this, but just want to be sure. Let's go with the sanctity. Get some card draw, get some draw, uh, some block, I mean. All right, uh, well, let's do Consecrate, follow up, and Wallop. Get the bird to the ground, and then do one battle him. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have kept the bird alive. He, the bird would have killed himself on my, on my uh, thorns, right? Just like he meditate is fine. Let's do Cut Through Fate. Uh, get rid of both of these. Then Cut Through Fate again. Um, can I kill with the Blasphemy? No, let's get rid of both of these again. Okay, and then I can do Weave, Consecrate, and uh, Empty Fist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, and talk to the hands, Sash Whip, follow up. And uh, I could do Wallop, but actually, no, never mind. I'm fully defended already, so let's just do, uh, let's just kill this guy with a Smite. Alright, 20. I would like to avoid that. Let's do Crescendo, and then Smite. At a Blessing of the Fortress, I don't think I'll take. And Bowling Bash or Protect. I already have enough Protects. Let's take the Bowling Bash. I okay. uh, definitely want to add a card. Ideally, something will give me a Collector Bonus. So, another Crescendo, another Wheel Kick. Yeah, I never got another set of Wheel Kicks, right? Crescendo might be good, though, just to have more ways to enter Wrath. So, I think I'll take it. Okay. The Operated Wheel Kick would have been a good option, too, though. I have to admit. All right. Unfortunately, I can't kill with the Blasphemy here. As much as I would like to. I should try to kill one of the minions, right? Let me throw the Fear Potion here. Cut through Fate. Bowling Bash is good. Okay, that will kill this guy. Then I can do Follow Up and battle him. Now, unfortunately, one of these guys is still alive. But not much I can do about that. Hopefully, the Backlander doesn't decide to attack. And nope, he did decide to attack. So I do have 17. I need 27. How do I defend against 27? Um, uh, let me see if the Swift Push, and I guess it would have to give me a bunch of Third Eyes. Sash Whip. It's interesting. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Let me do Miracle, see what the Power Potion gives me. Rush Up, Foresight, Devotion. Yeah, unfortunately none of this will help. Okay, so, uh, let's do... I do want to play Sash Whip, that, but that involves playing two cards. I'll bring it down to 18. So if I do Sash Whip, then I'll do Protect. That's 17. No, it has to be Third Eye. Third Eye alone is not enough. So it has to be Third Eye. Can't figure out a way to do this. If I do Third Eye Protect. That's 24. I need 27. And I can't weaken. If I do Follow Up, then Sash Whip. No. What if I do Flying Sleep? Yeah, I just don't have the energy for that. Right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, all right, let's do flying sleeves, then follow up, then sash whip. 17, yeah, or 18. And unfortunately, I only have 17 or 12. What a shame. What a shame. Got so close to being able to perfect this one. Yeah, one HP off. That's really unfortunate. All right, uh, let's do what is that? Bowling bash, follow up, and then uh, flying sleeves. 
All right, get rid of both of these. I'll do talk to them. See, if I had to talk to the end before, that would have changed the game drastically. Uh, actually, next turn, I'll... Actually, no, I'll draw the Cathrophe this turn, and the next turn, I'll have the Blasphemy that should allow me to kill with all the Sons of Times and Smites I have. Uh, it is definitely a bummer, though. All right. Yeah. Lost one HP, wasn't able to perfect, and I'm pretty sure it would have been possible to perfect. Just had to be more careful. We got Blue Candle. Unplayable Curse card cannot be played. Whenever you play Curse, lose one HP and exhausted. As well as I did pick up too many crescendos, right? Between Flying Sleeves... Where is it? Which I already have a set of, and uh, Sash Whip, which I also already have a set of. Great. I have a collective bonus on all of these. If I have collective bonus on all of them, let me take an extra crescendo. The more I have, the better, I guess. Okay. All right. I feel like I should upgrade my Protects based from that last fight. If if one of those Protects were upgraded, would have perfected that one. Um. Yeah. Let's get the collective bonus for the... Uh, not collective. I mean the Curses modifier. At Lantern, so I just come with additional energy. That's good. And then got the slavers here. Okay, so let's start with... I don't have any potions either, right? I, I lost them all in the previous fight. Um, all right, another cut through fate. Weave is great. Wallop is good. Let's do follow-up. Weave. And then wallop is 9. So I have 15, 24, but I'm getting attacked for 27. So I think what I have to do is I have to do sash whip and then wallop. Okay, that way I'm still fully defended. Good. Hmm. Alright, 14 incoming. Let's kill this guy with follow-up. Then cut through fate. Get rid of both of these. I do have the protect for in case I don't draw any good defensive cards. And uh, actually, yeah, right before I forget, I should make sure to play it. Hmm. Alright, so 19. Um, I do have two sash whips. Let's start with the just lucky. All right, another just lucky is good. I wonder if I should enter Wrath. Actually, I could, right? Because then I can exit it with the Empty Fist. Yeah, and I'm fully defended. And that, that will only help to deal more damage, I think. Let's do follow-up. Sash Whip. Okay, and then Empty Fist. Good. And then here, can I kill with the Blasphemy? Yes, yes, I can. If I do Crush, uh, crush Joints and Sons of Time. Alright, perfect. This one, we got Shovel. You can now dig for Elixir Rest Sites, as well as a Speed Potion and Collectibles for Empty Fist. Yeah, seems tempting. Let's take it. I don't think I need the Spirit Shield that badly. And then I decided to go for this Elite and then jump over, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's start with... Uh, I don't even need Wallop, but might as well. Follow up, Empty Fist, and uh, let me do Battle Him and Meditate. Mm -hmm. Six incoming. Let's do Sanctity. See what I get. Uh, talk to the end is good. Let's do follow up, and then Sash Whip. Mm -hmm. All right. So ten incoming. Should I enter Wrath? I don't think I can. Well, no, no, I don't think I can kill. Let's do Weave. Cut through Fate. All right. I'll keep the uh, just lucky. Mm -hmm. And talk to the end would be great. Uh, do I want to deal... Actually, no, my deck... Well, I could do Sanctity to take... Uh, well, to be fully defended. Okay. Mm. And then I think here I'll I'll do the Crescendo. That gives me energy. I can do three Smites. Okay. All right. Prostrate, Flying Sleeves, or Halt. I did have enough Flying Sleeves, I believe, right? So, yeah, between Prostrate and Halt, eh, I guess I can go for the Prostrate. And then I did get another set of curses, although those are annoying, right? They're innate as well as Orkakum. If you end your turn without blocking six block. Okay. Yeah, those curses actually might be problematic, especially on a turn like this. Luckily, I'm fully defended this turn. Uh, let's do battle him and then talk to the hand. Okay. 21. Uh, well, I do have Wallop uh, plus the third eye. That should help. Actually, wait, I have 17. I could just play the Flying Sleeves instead of Third Eye. Let's do that. Okay. 18. Uh, let's do Just Lucky. Sasha is fine, if I can only get to it. Uh, I have 13 right now, and I can get another... Wait, that's uh, 13, 16, 20... Uh, sorry, 16, 19. Yeah, so I can just do Smite, another Smite, and then even Meditate. I'm probably going to meditate back the wallop. I think that was very useful. 
All right, 24. Uh, let's see. So, well, I definitely want to weaken. Let's do Consecrate Sash Whip. Is it down to 14? I have 11. Actually, yeah, I think I should be fine with the Wallop here. Okay. Yeah, thorns are definitely helping here, too. All right, uh, I have to risk it. Let's do Crescendo uh, Weave. Cut through Fate. Okay, another talk down would be good, but uh, let me take the Flying Sleeves. That should deal a lot of damage, too. All right, and then uh, Sons of Time, or Smite. Right. We got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you arrest, you may add a card into your deck. Probably not going to happen, because I'm going to try to dig everywhere I can. And did I get a Collect Bonus for just Lucky? Uh, no, no, let's grab one now. Okay. And then, yeah, let's jump over for another Elite. Slavers again. Yeah, here the opening hand is a little more important. I might consider a skill potion too, but let's let's work through wheel kick, see what I get. Another wheel kick. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Let's see what this gives me. Deceive reality is better. Um, so I do need to defend against 32. I have 15, so that's 19 and then 31. And one short. Unless I drink the, deck, the speed potion, which I would like to avoid too, but I don't think I have a choice here. So 19... Uh, 31, I'm getting attacked for 32. Fine, fine, let's drink this as well. Not happy with that, but what can I do? Hmm. Most of, uh, worst of all, it doesn't leave me with any good potions against the boss. That might be a big problem. But, uh, here, let's do, um, can I do crush joints? That'll make the wallop a little better. Uh, yeah, let's do miracle crush joints. And wallop, 13, that's not enough. Uh, well, not enough if I can't kill this guy, and... No, I can. Okay, good. Alright. Okay, it's a second crescendo here. Unfortunately, I can't exit Wrath once I enter it, so let's not risk it. Uh, can I kill this guy? Yeah, not really. Alright, let's do Consecrate, and then... Um, if I do Evaluate... Actually, no, if I do Protect, I should be fine, right? Evaluate alone is not going to be enough. All right, let's do Protect, and then I'll do Smite. Okay. Hmm. At 19. If I do Blasphemy here, I think I should be fine, right? Because I can kill uh, you with a Smite and you with a Smite plus Wallop. Okay. All right, got Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. That's actually really good together with the Blue Candle and my Innate Curses, so that, that should help. already have enough Flying Sleeves. Let's go with the Inner Piece. Okay. All right, so here I probably should dig first. Okay, me in the boon. If you HP is added below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. And with all the with the little X HP I have, that shouldn't trigger that often. All right, let's see what I got get here. Good. All right, uh, so here let's do. I don't think I'll enter Wrath here. Uh, let's instead do battle him, crush joints, and flying sleeves. Come. Okay. All right, that's a lot of incoming. Okay, so let's do. Let's do prostrate. Then uh, I could actually enter wrath and exit it with the empty my empty fist. Let's do that. Let's do cut through fate. Uh, get rid of both of these. Then uh, follow up. Okay. There's no way I can defend right. Nothing even close. I'm trying to think if exhausting this card will make a difference, but I don't think it does. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate, but nothing I could have done to defend better. I, I need a block potion. Mm -hmm. All right, eight incoming. Let's do uh, crescendo is again dangerous. Actually, I think I have a meditate, so let's let's hope I'll be fine. And then I'll do smite one and smite two, and then let's meditate. Uh, and I think what I'll meditate back is the. Um... Oh, for some reason I thought I had wallop. Let's take the empty fist. Oh, okay, just empty fist then. All right, 20 incoming, two Blasphemies, but unfortunately not enough damage, so let's do Sanctity. All right, Consecrate, Sash Whip. Uh, consecrate again, Empty Body. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Smite and Empty Fist, okay. All right, so here, I haven't drawn a single... Okay, just as I said, I, was, I wasn't drawing any Weaves. All right, let's do two Weaves, never mind. Car reality, uh, wheel kick. Have no idea I'm gonna perfect next turn, or survive next turn even. Fifty-one incoming. That is quite a lot. Uh, let's do evaluate and sanctity. 
And so I have 16. This will bring it up to 23. Okay. And then another 32. Well, at least I'm alive. That that is that is what counts, I guess. Wait, is that right? Oh, well, yeah, with the plated armor, it's just barely enough. Okay. Hmm. At least the meter on the bone will trigger. All right, let's do crescendo just to free up my hand a little bit. Let's do smite one, smite two. Okay. Can I deal 150 damage? It might be a little difficult. I do have the inner piece, which should help. Although, even if I play the inner piece, I don't have enough uh, block to defend fully. So, let's do let's do the best I can do, Sons of Time, and then the smites. Yeah, no hope there. I wasn't even that close. Let's reload and try something else. Actually, not 100% sure, but I think I'll try everything similar to before and just uh, try to kill faster and sacrifice HP because I know I'm not already not perfecting. All right, so it took me uh, two attempts, but I finally was able to get through it. Uh, nothing special. I just had enough defensive cards and a bit of attack. Definitely no chance of perfecting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go with the Omniscience. Even though I could get a Collective Wounds for the Blasphemy, I think Omniscience is more important. Let's stick with that. All right, and then here, the extra energy is sort of necessary. I think I have to go with the Coffee Dripper. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can only go rest at rest sides. Now, the other option was the Holy Water, but I think Coffee Dripper is more consistent. Alright, Awaken one, which is great. Time Eater would have been the worst. Uh, and yeah, as I predicted, I can only do two jumps uh, on this act. Actually, I can, I can even maximize all elites with just one jump, but let's still use two. So I can pick any of these uh, elites, and then after that, go on this path. I could do an extra jump here. Yeah, yeah. So first I have to go to either the left or the right. Um, both have one question marks. So on the right side, there's an extra shop, though. Then jump, I jump over to either of these, it doesn't matter which one. And then I think I can jump over here for an extra question mark room. Or even if I want to shop, I can go this way and then jump over. Okay. Uh, wait, so I said uh, going for this one first because it has an early shop, right? All right, let's see what I draw first. Okay, just lucky. This is fine. I can do follow up Sash Whip Battle Trance. And then flying sleeves. Okay. Okay. All right, twenty incoming. Well, I could chain the omniscience. I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to chain that for. Uh, I guess one of them can be blasphemy, and then the others can be what? Carve reality? Sure, why not? Hmm. All right. So I can do smite, uh, yeah, smite, smite, and then another smite. Okay. All right. Uh, crush joints, hold, or just lucky. I think I don't have enough crush joints. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's let's take a collector ones for crush joints. Okay. All right. This is an interesting shop here. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so Duvidal is actually pretty good. I would get immediately nine strength, right? Because I have the uh, Curse of the Well, the Decay, and the Wraith. Uh, yeah, let's do it. For each Christian index, I just come with one strength. Okay, nine strength immediately. All right, and then did I have enough Cutthroat Fates? Because I would like a collect. Yeah, actually I do. Okay, fine. So let's not focus on that. I will want to get a Collector Bonus on Prostrate. Um, let's take... Actually, too bad. Actually, I can take the Empty Mind... I really don't need... Actually, Melange is not a bad idea. All right, let's take the Empty Mind. Wait. No, no, I don't want Melange. Whenever you shuffle Drop Pile, Scry 3, I'm never going to shuffle my Drop Pile. Let's take the Utorian Orthopto. Whenever you use a Potion, heal 5 HP. And not that it's needed, but I do want to make sure I get 25 Relics. And then, did I have enough Empty Fists? I did, I did. Okay. Uh, So, I guess... Should I save my gold? I, I can... Um, or I can, yeah, actually, you know what? There is a chance for me to get, uh, to another shop later on, right? Wait, if I do that, am I missing? No, I'm not going to miss a question mark room that way. All right, fine. Yeah, let's go. Let's save the gold for the next shop. Okay. All right. It was a pretty good shop, though. I, I can't complain. And then, yeah, going this way. All right. 
Definitely want to fight for a rare relic. Would really like to get to 25 if I can. All right, uh, let's do Wraith. Uh, okay, so I'll do Battle Him, Flying Sleeves, Follow Up, Prostrate, Evaluate. Okay. Yeah, the extra strength will definitely help a lot. Yeah, I'll make the rest of the run much easier. Um, so yeah, look at that. That's a lot of damage. All right, let's do Crescendo. Then uh, Bowling Bash, Cut Through Fate. I can grab another Cut Through Fate and then kill with the... Uh, We'll see. Talk to the end. Awesome. Got Giri. You can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times. Okay. Signature move. Yeah, I don't think I can really make it work. Uh, not today. Uh, and I already have enough protects. Did I have enough bowling bashes? Let me just make sure. Yeah, I did have enough protects. Let's go with the uh, with a collector bonus from bowling bash. Hmm. All right. Orb walker. Let's do cut through fate. I could do talk to the hand. And you know what? Let's do Wraith just to see what I get. All right, just lucky. That's fine. And let's do Battle Him, of course. Hmm. All right, and then here I'll do Crescendo and just kill. Come. Okay. Got a Bald Miracle Potion, which is pretty good. And I think I have a Collectibles on all of them. No, no, don't have it for Consecrate yet. Let's grab it for that now. Hmm. All right, Spire Growth. Uh, let's do Battle Him, Wraith. And then a weave, just lucky. Get rid of both of these. Weave again. Actually, I should have done crush runs first. That would have definitely helped. Sash whip was pretty fine too. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually, I probably could have just used the blast for me to uh, kill here, right? 108. All right. I got the overkill modifier too. Good. Nirvana protect third eye. Did I have enough third eyes? Uh, I didn't. All right. Let's grab a collector bonus for that. Okay. First elite got the nemesis, eighteen. Uh, let me see what I draw. Okay, I do have third eye, which is good. Let's do battle him, two follow ups, and then third eye. Um, I'm I, I'm a little worried about being attacked next turn, so let's keep all of those, including the sash whip. Okay. Eighteen. So let's do just lucky. Uh, bowling bash is good next turn, so let's see cut through fate, then sash whip. And uh, now I only have 12 incoming, but I still need to do the protect, right? Okay. All right, not getting attacked here. That's good. Let's do cut through fate. Uh, probably don't need any of these. Follow up. Uh, wallop. Not wallop, sorry. Wheel kick. And then let's do the crush joints and another. No, let's do bull. Uh, I can't kill here. You know what? Just because I don't want to risk it, because I might get attacked by a lot next turn and not be able to kill, so let's just kill. Perfect here. At Ink Bottle, one of you play 10 cards, draw one card, as well as a Liquid Bronze Potion, and yeah, collect bonus for Blasphemy, or should I get a card reality? No, let's take the Blasphemy. Might be difficult against the boss, but against everything else, it's pretty good. Okay, Reptomancer. Alright, all, almost all curses there. Yeah, good example of Blasphemy not being useful here. Um, let's do prostrate battle him. I am technically fully defended. Uh, but yeah, let me do uh, carve reality, kill. Oh, this doesn't even kill. Well, at least he'll die in my thorns. And I'll just wait. Okay. Okay. Um, so I do have the omniscience. If I do blasphemy, could I do bowling bash? I would have to hit the right one, which is not guaranteed. Uh, what else could I do? Sands of Time. No, actually, it should probably be, um... Actually, wait, if I kill the minions... Can I kill the minions? Um... Oh, hang on. Let's do follow-up. It'll kill one of them. And then I could... Smite doesn't kill the other one, though. Alright, fine. Let's do Omniscience. The Omniscience is first. Then I'll do one Blasphemy. And then how do I deal a lot of damage? I think it has just has to be the sense of time, right? 20 damage or anything that deals more damage? Maybe... Maybe do Consecrate first so that I get rid of the minion? And then do... Yeah, yeah, fine. Let's do that. Let's do Consecrate first. And then I'll do the um, sense of time. Okay. That was enough. Good. Got a Kabuki. Your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage, as well as 
That'll be nine blasphemies. That's a little too much. I do think I need a second set of Sons of Time, right? Uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, let's grab it. Collect a bonus for that. Uh, okay, and then I decide to go on the left, get this question mark room, and then jump over right after getting the shot. So that should be good. Okay. And then, yeah, I should dig just, just to be safe. Yeah, let's dig. We got potion belt. I'm pick up getting two potion slots. Okay. Not getting offered a lot of potions here. We got a pair up and pick up race room extra by 10. Very nice. And then here. So hang on. I have 22 relics, right? I'm guaranteed a 23rd one here, but that's it. I guess I could rest one more time. So 24 is technically also possible. But my point is, oh, actually, I can't even afford. Okay, so then I have to rest twice. All right, so of these relics, I'll probably like the Happy Flower most. Every three turns, get extra energy. And then the rest, I can focus on cards. Did I have enough to talk to the hands? Uh, I didn't. All right, let's grab a collector bonus for that. It's also on sale. And then I think I like I like Tantrum. Wait, no, what about Empty Body? I might need a collector bonus for that. Yeah, I only have three. Let's grab a collector bonus for that as well. Okay. Um, you're right, and I can't afford any of the potions, so let's go straight, jump over. Wait, uh... Hang on, hang on. How many relics do I have? 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, so in the last rest set, I have to dig. Okay, which is fine. Hmm. Let's see what this gives me. Uh, ooh, two Consecrates. All right. And uh, Battle Him and Cut Through Fate. And a Bowling Bash for a kill. That was easy. Okay, we got a fear in a bottle, which I probably... Well, actually, it might not be a bad idea with the little max HP that I have. Uh, fear no evil. I think I already have collector bonus on the other ones. So let's take the fear no evil. And then here. Okay, great. Another fear in a bottle. I don't think I'll need two, but I guess better safe than sorry. 18. See what this gives me. All right, talk to the end is good. Let's do talk to the hand sash whip. Then battle him, inner peace, and then meditate. Um. Uh, well, yeah. Sash was, I think, is fine in case I get attacked. 33, I am getting attacked. So here I should just work on getting block, right? Yeah, and I think I should be able to with the omnisciences. Okay. So let me grab uh, uh, Sanctity. I don't know. Oh, actually, let's double play the uh, Talk to the Hand. And then maybe I can get a Protect, which should be... Oh, this is Order. No, here, Protect. Oh, unupgraded one is fine. Oh, I got another one? Alright, let's do another talk to the end then. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's plenty of block. Let's do just lucky. Get rid of both of these. Okay. Just lucky again. Look at that. Each attack I play, play gives me 14 block. Alright. Okay. 18. Let's do uh, just lucky. Get rid of this. Dash whip. Just lucky again. And then two smites. Okay. With 14 block return, I don't think I have anything to worry about here. Uh, let's do follow up, prostrate, and wait. Hmm. And then here, I think I should be able to just kill with these smites. Uh, let me... Okay, I'm going to play a few more cards just so the uh, ink bottle gets a little... Uh, a few more charges. Let's do empty mind. And then... Uh, yeah, one of these, one of this, and then kill, okay? All right, we've got Calipers at the start of your turn. Lose 15 block rather than all of your blocks. Very useful. And I feel like I had enough wallops, right? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I guess between these, so the 6 Simmer Fury is a little more immediately useful. Okay. And I could get another curse, which actually would give me more strength. So maybe I will try to go for another curse here. Uh, I'll keep the Protect just in case. All right, no, 21 is not desirable. Let's do talk to the hand. I also have to be careful not to deal too much damage. That's definitely the danger when you have so much strength. Okay, just lucky is fine. Actually, weave might be a good way to deal a little bit of uh, a little bit of damage. And 32 is not something I would like. Uh, let's do wallop. 15. Okay, I'm not even going to play the uh, battle him just because I think I'll fill up my hand too quickly. And I don't want to end up with too many cards in my hand because I do want to deal damage. There is a curse. Awesome. You know what? I'm going to do crescendo because I'm pretty confident I can kill next turn. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do uh, crush joints, follow up, and then crush joints again for a kill. Good. 
Got a cultist potion. Okay, I'm going to take it over one of the liquid bronzes. Uh, Flurry blows fasting or bowling bash. I think I already have enough bowling bashes and I don't have any copies of the others. Uh, let me take the fasting now that I have extra energy. Yeah. All right. And then I have to dig here for my 25th relic, which is the preserved insect enemies in lead combat. So I have 25% less HP. Kind of hilarious to get it on Act 3. Uh, or on floor 49. But theoretically, still useful, right? Especially if you fight the elites for the um, heart heartbreaker fight so i shouldn't say that you shouldn't get that event uh all right let's see what i draw here okay just lucky unfortunately it's not quite enough uh let me drink this as well and this okay all right so let's do just lucky first uh get rid of both of them because i desperately need to draw a defensive card uh okay well protect this a little overkill but that would work um i think it has to work right so yeah let's do protect battle him and then i completely forgot that was a power but fine hopefully no huge harm done hmm. all right 27 there's an omniscience Ooh, i could get a lot of talk to the ends out again uh so 46 is not quite enough yeah if the omniscience hits if if i hit this guy with talk to the, i mean that's still fine fine let's do the omniscience's and then I think it should just be all talk to the hands, right? Yeah, yeah, why not? Um, trying to think if there's anything better to do. I guess I could do wallop, but this would be a good investment for the future. And I would also be able to grab a bunch of uh, block with the calipers. Okay. Um, so let's do miracle. I'll do another talk to the hand. That should allow me to be fully defended. And I have 15 block return, which seems pretty good. All right, 28. Uh, let's do Weave, uh, Fear No Evil. Then Empty Body for uh, more block. Then actually Wallop is really for more block. Wheel Kick. Mm -hmm. And then I can do Third Eye. And this looks fine next turn. Probably don't need these three. All right. Okay, 122. And I keep a bunch with the Calipers anyway. All right, let's do Weave, Cut Through Fate, um, grab the follow-up. Uh, yep, and then Wallop. Should have done Wallop first. That was definitely a mistake. Okay. All right, 41. Uh, let's do Sash Whip, Fear No Evil, Empty Body. Then Carve Reality, Smite, Smite. Okay. My hand is getting a little too full for me to be able to get the common modifier, even though I think... Uh, you know what? Or I'll just play all of these. I'll make my life easier. Um, okay. Although, now this guy might die. Really, I should have just not played that power. I think that was the secret. Okay. Um, a little over 45 minutes, although I think I feel like I took a 5-minute break. So, that that could have been 1781. That's not bad, but not as as good as I hope they will be. So out of the nine possible leads, and that, that's maximizing the wing boots, um, I got eight. I think it was just a Gremlin uh, leader that I missed by one one HP or one block uh, on Act 2. I got 18 collector bonuses. That definitely contributed to my high score. I, I like Shiny, of course, and Sukup Dino was easy. Cursors was easy. And then I did get overkill. Could have had a chance for combo, but um, I didn't really take it. Probably in that last fight, it was definitely possible to do. All right, so, oh, look at that. I'm 1781. Another 25 points would be uh, 1806. And uh, Chromosus here has 1808, so pretty close. Flignicum has about 25 points less, although, um, yeah, it's it's not a multiple of 25, so I suspect a different, drastically different game. And then while I was playing, Cita Computer also played with 1331 and Warpa with 1319. Uh, yeah, those are... All of those are not exactly multiples of 25, well, except for CDS computers. Uh, so, yeah, let me know in the comments what you did if you went for a different strategy. I, obviously, the key here is just maximizing question mark or uh, maximizing uh, duplicates. But let me know if you did something else. Thanks for watching. Bye.